How should I call this? The super lab? Super, super duper lab! Alrighty, welcome to Option Not Included. Today, I want to do something different. But as with everything in life, we are going to start by pissing our pants. From all this time playing the game, I never actually checked if proper thermodynamics was included. What do I mean by this? But simply, I would like to see if the thermal aqua tuner produces less heat than it can absorb. Where can I find a best place, best fit? Maybe... Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do it here. Alright, now let's prep everything up. So, I would like to be as close as possible to this ideal isolated system. So, I'm going to use isolated tiles with insulation so that we don't have any temperature leaks, temperature exchange between the environment and the chambers. Okay, now this is done. So, here's the idea. I would like to take um, the liquid aqua tuner and um, wait, I'm gonna build it with Termium. The, the goal is to use the best possible material so that I don't get like overheat problems. Um, I'm gonna use the liquid aqua tuner here and I wanna see how quickly this chamber here where the aqua tuner is heats up in comparison to how quickly the right chamber is cooling down. Okay, does this make sense? Let's give it a try. Let's fill everything up with, I think like super coolant will be a good idea. Since it has a freeze point of, let me see. Super, no, super coolant uh, liquid. Yeah, this will work, this will work. All right, so let's fill this up with super coolant and I will, let's, let's make it like, 20 degrees. I need a radiant pipe from Thermium. Okay, like this. Well, makes sense. Should be reasonable. Then we need liquid. I'm going to use again super coolant. And a pump, fill it with super coolant, 20 degrees, yes, okay, the setup is ready, let's unpause and see how quickly this chamber here gets heaten up in comparison to this chamber over there. Wait. I'm going to have this pipe at some point blocked. I need to stop it and unblock the pipe. While we're waiting, I can actually make it a bit more cozy for our duplicates over there. Stinky Max, they're gonna piss their pants. Oh, poor guys. Let's have some oxygen. Uh, whoopsie, that was, that was not intended. Um, guys, um, what is gonna happen? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> oh, stinky. Maybe let me change those. No, I can't. Okay, let's buy it. Don't piss your pants, guys. Wait, I have an idea. Unpause. I'm going to create another chamber here where I'm going to have the thermal aqua tuner there that is going to cool itself down. Oh yeah, let's give it a try. This should be interesting. Now I do need radiant pipes. Should I do it with... Let's try with water. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna try it with water and see what happens. I'm gonna have it like 20 degrees again, consistent. And if we get ice, thermodynamics is not included. If we get steam, then everything is good. Okay, let's let's run this. Let's see what happens. Okay, let me pause here now. It's been already five cycles. We started from what cycle ten? This is, this actually looks super weird. So remember, we started from twenty degrees Celsius, and now we are at average fifty seven, fifty six point one, fifty seven. Okay. And on the right side we have minus 18.7, minus 16. Okay, this is not so consistent. Super cool, it's minus 14 actually. All right, it has been about 40 cycles now. Remember, we started at cycle 10. Well, I ran the numbers and calculated the average temperature inside each chamber by also considering the liquid mass for each square. As we can see, the mass is not distributed equally over the whole 12 square area, with the first row having 990 kilograms and the last 1010. Oh, and also, the colder chamber had a temperature gradient with temperatures dropping the further left we went. So here are the numbers. The hot chamber, where the aqua tuner is, reached an average temperature of 285.2 degrees Celsius. And the cold one reached a whopping negative 237.4. Well, when we started, everything was at positive 20 degrees Celsius, or 68 degrees Fahrenheit in freedom units. This means that we increased the temperature on the left by 265.2 while decreasing it by 257.2 on the right. Does this mean that everything is okay and this was a huge waste of time? Well, probably, but let us have a look at the bottom experiment before we draw any conclusions. Over there, I put super coolant inside the pipes and had it run through the aqua tuner and cool down the surrounding water. The starting temperature was also 20 degrees Celsius and... Oh boy! Do we have our answer! After roughly 40 cycles, our average temperature was 18.1. Yep, you heard it right. The water inside the tank was 1.9 degrees colder than when we started. We are effectively destroying heat, which I don't know how familiar you are with thermodynamics, but this isn't quite possible. Even the law of conservation of energy, also known as the first law of thermodynamics, states that the total energy of an isolated system is constant. Energy can be transformed from one form to another, but can be neither created or destroyed. And yeah, this is not exactly the perfectly isolated system because we have one input, the power source. But still, we have no outputs and the produced heat has nowhere to escape. Oh, and by the way, in the first experiment, we still had colder liquid inside the pipes in comparison to the one in the tank. So yeah, thermodynamics is not included. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao, see you soon.